What's up, guys? I do welcome to my channel. Spoiler, I'm back again. Hopefully, you guys, are having a marvelous day. So, guys, today I'm going to do a different video, and the title is "How to Start a YouTube Channel in 2023." So, before I continue, let me just prompt you: if you haven't, please make sure you guys subscribe, and let's just become one growing big family. So, so yeah, so YouTube can be a very lucrative, you know, as long as you're able to find a market which you're able to serve. So with a lot of people, I think I tend to see them, they do YouTube channels, which is based around their lifestyle, which is okay if you don't want to grow your channel as such. But I think if you want to grow your channel and make a, perhaps a living out of it, then you can probably just, I think, look at maybe a, a scarcity in the market and then try and fill that gap. For an example, next month, I'm actually doing a giveaway tomorrow. So I'm going to give one of my subscribers a free ticket to go watch the Sidemen football charity, which is full of YouTubers. You've got Mr. Beast. He's got, he gets about 80 million views per video. KSI, you know, you've got Logan Paul, Ashlow Speed. You've got all these big, massive YouTubers that make millions and millions of dollars every single year, you know, and KSI, look what he's done. He's crossed over into boxing now, and it's now just a big thing with, with misfits. So he started just making videos in his bedroom. He sacrificed his lunch money, saved that, bought himself a camcorder and, you know, the rest is history. So there is a possibility for you to grow on YouTube, but it's very important that you do, I think, look at the analytical, I can't even talk, you look at the metric data. So when you open a YouTube channel and you start dropping videos, you usually um, be asked to get a, YouTube studio app and what it does it shows you the little intricate data whether it be like you know your views where people are watching from you know your view time and when a lot of your subscribers tend to watch so you know when to drop your video so all of these things I think when you take them and you put them as part of your strategy then I think you're going to be able to start to see your channel grow certain people might do some promotion as such where they can pay Google to advertise that channel as well. That can perhaps be a thing that you can do, or you can grow organically. That's another thing as well. So I think the most important thing is to say is look at the scarcity in you know YouTube in the realm of YouTube. Also, what what I mean by scarcity, I mean like is there a gap in the market, and then you try and do it. But also, you know, you can see certain people do uh, you know certain things, but maybe you think you're going to do it better, give it a try. And I always say, like, you personally always sell. Be yourself, you know, and people always fall in love with you because they can see themselves in you as well. I do sneakers, I do fashion, I do car videos. So I've got that market as well. So my market's, like, from 15 to 40. And I think the biggest market is from USA as well. So I've got to keep up with the trends in USA when it comes to sneakers, when it comes to cars, what cars are they doing over there? And then I'm able to, to then cater for them as well. So UK is also my biggest market. Germany is my biggest market. Japan, Australia. So I've got to look at all those individual markets, see what's you know trendy in that place, and then just try and fill it as well. And also doing giveaways is another thing as well. So if you do giveaways, for example, I spent my money and I've done like uh, giveaways such as the um what's it called so last year nike done a nocta collaboration with drake and i gave away a t-shirt which cost me 60 pounds so um i'm also giving away this uh ticket as well so all of these giveaways and you know when you do these giveaways people feel like as if you're giving back to them and they met her as well and it's not just you making money and just using them but you appreciate them it's like a token of thank you so yeah so write down different ideas brainstorm and then try them out, you know, no problem with trial and error, trial and error. <laughs> and sometimes when you drop a video, you might get like five views, you might get no views at all. I just say, listen, just keep grinding. Um, there's this uh, YouTuber from USA, uh, Marcus. So he's the biggest tech YouTuber. And I think apparently he'd done, I think, almost 200 videos before he got a thousand subscribers. And today he's got 17 million subscribers plus and counting. He's interviewed. Bill Gates has interviewed all these big um, celebrities, Kobe Bryant, Mark Zuckerberg, 
Elon Musk. So it just shows that like when you start from the bottom, you grind your way and you just try and improve each and every time. It's very important that you improve, improve your production, improve your lighting, buy better equipment. And it doesn't really cost much to start as well. So don't think oh, I've got to spend quite a lot of money initially. No, you can get yourself a, a smartphone and just start filming. More, I'll probably say 98% of my videos are made from an iPhone 12. So I will get an iPhone 15 when it comes out for better quality, but it just goes to show that you can still make money off your phone as well. So I don't know. I think uh, I've answered pretty much uh, some of the questions. If you guys wanna, want to ask more questions, make sure you guys follow my Instagram link, which I've left down below as well. I've got my business email as well. You can send me an email, feel free. But yeah, peace out guys. God bless. Have a nice weekend.